Welcome to episode 3. In the previous episode, I explained the differences between morals and syllables. If you haven't watched episode 2, click the suggestion above, because this episode will assume some rudimentary knowledge of morals. In the next couple of episodes in this series, you will learn how to sound like native Japanese speakers by imitating their pitch and intonation. Episode 3 will cover the pitch accent in Japanese. In episode 4, we'll explore the intonation contours on the sentence and phrase levels. Let's begin. First of all, what do I mean by the pitch accent? The pitch accent refers to the placement of stress that distinguishes one word from another. Why is the pitch accent important? In Japanese, there are many pairs of words that are distinguished only by the pitch accent. For this reason, if you don't get the pitch accent right, you might get misunderstood by native speakers. In my Duolingo video, there were a few people in the comment section who didn't understand why I was baffled by the app's pronunciation of the word sushi. Sushi. What? Sushi. So it became clear to me that the pitch accent is something that a lot of learners struggle with. Are there any examples? Perhaps one of the most well-known examples is the contrast between hashi and hashi, chopsticks and bridge, respectively. You might also see another word, hashi, edge, added to this pair. Before I explain the differences between these three words, let me test your pitch accent detection skills. I'm going to say either the word for chopsticks or the word for bridge, and then I'll say the other word that I didn't say the first time. Write down the number one if you hear chopsticks, and two if you hear bridge. Hashi, hashi. The answer is two and one or bridge and chopsticks. If you got it right, congratulations, and if you didn't, I recommend that you should watch the rest of this video. So, what is the difference between these two words? The word for chopsticks, hashi, has the stress on the first mora, whereas the word for bridge, hashi, has the stress on the second mora. I'm going to alternate between these two a few times. Try to see if you can hear the difference in the placement of stress. Hashi, 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 hashi. If you are still unable to hear the difference, have a look at the spectrograms of these words. In this pair of spectrograms, the pitch is visualized by the blue lines. As you can see, in the spectrogram for chopsticks, the first blue line is positioned higher than the second one. Whereas in the spectrogram for bridge, this pattern is reversed, and the second blue line sits slightly higher than the first one. How about if I say these words without any stress or accent? Hashi, hashi. Hashi. This time, the spectrogram looks like this. Both of the blue lines are on the same level. Now, how about the third word? Hashi. Edge. This third member is what's called an accentless word. This terminology, however, is misleading because this so-called accentless word has an accent or stress on the final mora. The only possible difference between them is that the stress on the accentless word, edge, can be slightly less strong for some speakers. However, other speakers might have exactly the same pitch accent for these words, and therefore, there might not be any difference between them. I'm going to alternate between bridge and edge a few times. Try to hear the tiny difference between them. Hashi, 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 hashi. So how can you tell the difference? Well, these words are hard to distinguish if they are said in isolation, but the difference becomes clearer when they are followed by another word or used in a phrase. For example, compare the phrases hashi no honi in the direction of the bridge and hashi no honi in the direction of the edge. I'm going to alternate between these two phrases so that you can try detecting the difference for yourself first. Hashi no honi, 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 hashi no honi. As you can see on these spectrograms, the pitch on the second mora in bridge is higher than in the word for edge. I'm going to repeat these two phrases a few more times. This time, pay extra attention to the second moras. Hashi no honi, 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 hashi no honi. Now, contrast all the three words plus no honi. Hashi no honi, hashi no honi, hashi no honi, hashi no honi. Hashi no honi, hashi no honi, hashi no honi, hashi no honi, hashi no honi. Now, let's go back to the Duolingo example mentioned earlier. On the app, the word sushi was pronounced with the wrong placement of accent or stress, as in sushi. In this case, the stress is placed on the first mora, whereas the correct placement should be on the second mora, as in sushi. Be careful, however, that the first mora can sometimes be stressed. 
For example, if you add the honorific prefix o to the word sushi, then the stress shifts backwards and gets placed on su as in o sushi. How about words that only have one mora? One mora words can also have different pitch accents. For example, shi, death, and shi, poetry have different patterns of pitch accents. As always, I'm going to alternate between these two so that you can hear the difference for yourself first. Shi, 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 shi. The difference here is extremely subtle again, but recall what we did earlier when two words sounded similar or identical. What we did was to add another word after it and see if that makes any difference. This time, let's add the particle ga after them. Shiga, 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 shiga. 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 The difference between these two is that in the first phrase, shiga or death, there is a drop in the pitch between the first word, shi, and the second word, ga, as in shiga. On the other hand, in the second phrase, shiga or poetry, both words have roughly the same pitch. What we can induce from this difference is that some pairs of words might sound identical when they are uttered in isolation, but when we use them in context, each member of the pair affects the following word's pitch differently. So how should I go about learning the pitch accent? One of the problems with a lot of the learning resources that are out there is that they don't include any information about the pitch accent. For example, I couldn't find any online dictionaries that showed any information about the pitch accent. I am no expert when it comes to learning resources, but I am not aware of any textbooks or apps that include such information either. If you know any resources that are good for learning the pitch accent, please leave a comment below and let everyone else know about it as well. In the meantime, what you can do on a daily basis is to be aware of the fact that the pitch accent exists and practice saying words with different pitch accents. Pay attention to native speakers when they talk and try to expose yourself to as wide a variety of listening materials as possible. When you learn new words or phrases, try to find some audio of a real native speaker pronouncing those words. Whenever you hear a native speaker stressing a different mora in a word than you normally do, take a mental note of that fact and try imitating the native speaker. Of course, there is always the possibility that the native speaker might be speaking in a regional dialect, and different dialects do have different patterns of pitch accent. The pitch accent I have been teaching you on this video is in fact the pattern used in standard Japanese which originated in the Tokyo region. It doesn't really matter which dialect you acquire, but try to learn the dialect that's appropriate for the area you live in and the kind of workplace or school you go to. I don't know if this was really helpful advice, but the best you can do is to listen to a lot of different speakers because there are no explicit rules as to which word has which type of pitch accent. In other words, all you can do is to accumulate as many tokens of each word as possible. I'm going to end this episode with some exercises for you to try. Firstly, I will say two words, listen to them, and match each of them to one of the words displayed on the screen. I will then say the correct answers. After the solution is shown, the words will be repeated a few times, so that you can repeat after me and practice. Number 1. Aka 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 Ashi 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 Kan 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 Kyushu 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 Jishin 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 
自身自身自身自身自身自身自身自身自身 This is the end of this video. See you next time.